Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Now that it is doggy approved that they're going to allow a, another one, a bulldog in the house for home defense, let's take a look at this bad boy from American Tactical ATI, the bulldog. This thing, Bullpop 12 gauge, comes with a five round magazine, sometimes maybe one, sometimes maybe two, I'm not positive. Um, and I also got them to send me a 10 round magazine to test and evaluate. It comes with pick rail all over the place, so I should be able to add a light. Now, different kind of parts of different companies actually make this basically the same shotgun, but this is the shortest version. That's why I wanted to check out the Bulldog. All right, if a typical AR is about 37 and a half inches and extended out and it's like about 39 inches, this thing is just over 26 inches overall length with a full 18 and a half inch barrel because the action's back in the butt being a bull pop. So I just don't think anything can beat five plus one or even 10 plus one at 12 gauge. If you, you know, more and more home invasions have been happening with multiple attackers, armed attackers, three to five, sometimes kicking in the door with body armor, pistols, shotguns, rifles, etc. cetera. Um, so really, I think this could be a better option for home defense than uh, an AR. And then, of course, if AR, AK, AK pattern rifles get subject to uh, further transgressions against the Second Amendment, perhaps this kind of stays off the radar, uh, being that it's not AR, AK pattern. It does have an AR-style charging handle. It comes with these uh, plastic sights you can put on, or, of course, you could mount a red dot. You got pick rail underneath and on both sides, so you should be able to mount a flashlight, no problem, push button safety. Cool. I, I like the looks of this one the best. It's very Space Marine Hick style for close encounters. And for close encounters, semi-auto, uh, once you break it in and get it functioning good, I mean, I would, I would, I would keep it if all you had was this, 5 plus 1. 10 plus 1, not sure about high, pre high brass like buckshot being compressed, I'd probably just load it to nine plus one, uh, you know, for a little bit extra reliability, you know, um, purposes. I doubt you're going to need 11 rounds, but 10 rounds of 12 gauge doesn't solve it. Usually three, four rounds will handle the situation a lot better than having a double or triple tap everyone, even with a five, five, six. So, but the biggest difference is the overall length guys so 26 inches, and the MSRP on this is only $500. I just looked, I found it one place in stock for 385, uh, one place for 415, another place for 425. So you can sometimes even get this under $400. Under $400 for some really badass home defense. Uh, you know, maybe it could be in a, you got a truck if you got a lock box, because it's so short. Um, Depending on legalities, I mean, it's not a pistol grip, other weapon. So in a lot of states, you may be able uh, to make it a backpack gun or a briefcase gun. Uh, if you needed to grab and go in a backpack, uh, check your legalities. Every state's different. Some have, you know, 12 inches overall. Can't be more than 12 inches long for being concealed. Uh, but a lot of them, because this isn't like a shockwave, and yet it's just over the 26 inches because it's a bull pop. So you got a full shouldering ability. And now I got 10 plus one or five plus one. Also, th this can actually go on the rail and be used as a foregrip. Uh, but the specs on the Picatinny are pretty tight, a little bit off. So I can get it on there, but it's hard to get it off um, even halfway on with the quick release. But maybe that will break in. I just oiled it. I might break in the sights. The front one, and I'm pretty good. The rear, I'm having to like palm strike and get on a bit deeper. So I don't even have, uh, but, it, but it's locked in pretty good. But, I mean, for the money, if I get this thing functioning good, you got nice peep sights there, air style sights, air st st uh, style charging handle. Drop your bolt. Other side, uh, the bulldog. There's your mag release. Uh, hard to do on camera. Let's throw the five rounder in. So that can be a foregrip as well. So that's pretty ingenious. That's pre it's not bad. 
um, gives you a good hold. You know, so if I had two fives, I might keep one up there with the 10. I don't, I don't think I would bother to. Uh, personally, I got to figure out um, if I would use a four grip and put a light on the side or what. But it's pretty, pretty uh, amazing little bad boy. So here's the ATI Bulldog and the Dogs Approve. I mean, threaded, looks sweet. Business end, pick on three sides and, and as well as on top. So four sides can mount. Red uh, dot, you got your sights here, nice charging handle, mag release, bolt drop, uh, push button style safety here. So that's very easy to do. Let's uh, check the trigger pull out. Oh, that ain't bad at all. Let's check that again. Only a little bit of take up. Actually, that's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. So, I mean, <laughs> for $385 to $500, can you do better for home defense? I really don't think so. Now, uh, the butt pad's not that thick, so it is going to recoil pretty good. You probably got to break it in with over 1,300 feet per second. I do have some, like, 1205, I think, low recoil, uh, 9 pellet double aught, I think. Um, and then if I break it in with double aught, hopefully I could also get it a function with number one buck. I think number one buck for home defense is kind of the best overall game. Um, so hopefully I can get some cheap number one buck uh, to run in it as well. But uh, for close encounters, guys, I mean, only 26 inches, just over 26 inches. You really can't beat that. I recently went through a SWAT school. A SWAT one was just pistol. But if you had like a SWAT team, an entry team, I could see one out of four, one out of eight guys using this uh, with federal flight control. Um, nothing's going to drop a bad guy quicker than 12 gauge. So 12 gauge, whether it's number one, number uh, double aught, maybe even number four uh, at close range. But overall, I, th I, I really like number one buck. Nothing's going to dr drop someone. If you get, a, you know, at least two thirds of the pellets on the torso, people drop from 12 gauge. Often it might take two or three, five, five, six, uh, especially if it's 55 grain, maybe two if it's 77 grain, uh, double tap to upper thoracic cavity. But anywhere, you know, in the torso, even in the pelvis, a 12 gauge, people drop when you hit them with 12 gauge. So uh, you guys might want to look into the ATI Bulldog. I just think it's an amazing buy once I get this thing out. I'm sure I will have a lot of fun with it. Uh, it was expensive right now, so we'll see. Hopefully uh, hopefully some 1200 1300 will get it going, and then I can uh, do some birdshot after that. But you probably need 50 to 100 rounds uh, of buck uh, going through it first. But really, I mean... I got everything I need. I got a nice air style peep sight, air, air charging, ch charging handle, and uh, 5 plus 1 and 10 plus 1. Like I said, I'm not sure if anyone's actually studied long term compression. You know, um, I'd probably just put it 9 plus 1 just to make sure, uh, you know, if it's sitting as your HD gun for a long time. Uh, but, you know, easily hidden behind the closet. Now, shotguns aren't as drop safe as like pistols. So I want to keep it in the car with the uh, um, fed in the pipe. I'd be careful. Like I would keep this next to me in the bed. Uh, that might be something I might end up doing uh, loaded and ready to go just with the safety on. Uh, but like for behind in a closet, you guys do need to worry about all shotguns uh, pretty much. And, and a lot of rifles as well. Uh, falling and you know going off just from a short fall um, usually newer it's not going to happen but like in 10 12 years